First at 11, new details surrounding a deadly crash that killed a teenager driving a Tesla. His family now claims the company could have kept the tragedy from happening. And tonight, that family is suing. Last year's crash happened while that teenager was going over 100 miles an hour, but his parents insist they believe the car was safe even at that speed. CBS 4's Kerry Cott is live in Fort Lauderdale with the new details tonight. Kerry? Elliot Rude Bay, this is the copy of the lawsuit filed yesterday in California near Tesla headquarters. In the lawsuit, the family alleges a couple of important things about the crash that happened here along A1A last year. First, they say Tesla knowingly did not put an important safety feature on the battery in its cars. Also, the family says that Tesla removed an important safety feature without telling them that limited the uh, vehicle's speed on this particular car. This fiery Tesla crash in May 2018 in Fort Lauderdale took the lives of driver 18-year-old Barrett Riley and passenger 18-year-old Edgar Montserrat. Now the parents of the driver, the owners of the car, have filed a lawsuit against Tesla. First, the family alleges that they asked Tesla to put a speed limiting device on the car after Barrett Riley got a speeding ticket for driving more than 110 miles an hour. The lawsuit claims Tesla later removed the device after it was taken in for service in Dania Beach. The lawsuit says the speed limiter was removed without their consent or permission. Outrageously, Tesla never told the Rileys that it had done so until after the fatal accident. CBS 4 News spoke by phone with Barrett's father, Jim Riley. We need to understand why would they take it off, one, and then two, why, if they did take it off, why would they take it off without disclosing it? The Rileys are also alleging in their lawsuit that Tesla had technology to fireproof the car's battery to protect against a fire engulfing the Tesla but chose not to install it. They said and wrote and published that they would compensate by putting this fireproofing material in, but they never did put the fireproofing material in. Riley said he wants Tesla to fix the batteries in its cars. The Rileys say the car's airbags deployed during the crash and Barrett suffered no significant injuries from the impact. The lawsuit says Barrett Riley was essentially uninjured by the impact. He was killed by the extraordinarily hot and intense fire that started in the vehicle's lithium ion battery cells. The National Transportation Safety Board determined that Barrett Riley was driving more than 115 miles per hour three seconds prior to losing control and hitting a wall on A1A near Fort Lauderdale Beach. The car quickly burst into flames. Jim Riley said people tried to help but couldn't open the doors because the Tesla's door handles failed to extend. Now, after the crash, Tesla did put software in their vehicles to allow owners to set speed limits. They named that technology after Barrett Riley. The NTSB is investigating the crash and the ability of firefighters to fight fires in these types of batteries. I called the NTSB today. They tell me they're still investigating. I also reached out to Tesla for a comment on this lawsuit, but no one from the company got back to us. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News tonight.